Press X, delete. Shift A, mesh, torus. Open this tab and change this value. And this. Okay, close tab. Press tab to go to edit mode. And press 1, 2 or 3 to go to edit vertex, edit edge or edit faces. Press R, Y, 90, enter. Change selection method to last cell. OK. Enable X-ray to see the polygons behind the object. Press numpad del to focus to the object. Press numpad 3 and select these polygons. Change pivot point to 3D cursor. Shift D, right mouse button. Press S, left mouse button. Press E, right mouse button, then S, left mouse button. Again, E, right mouse button, S, left mouse button. And move it. Now select these four polygons. Press E, left mouse button. Press S, Z, and move it a little. Change pivot point, double to select all selections, and select these polygons. OK. Again, E, S, again, E, rotate it, press S. OK. Now double A to the select all selection and select these polygons. Press E and press S. Double A, select this polygon, E and move it. S, Y, left mouse button. Press 2 to go to edit edge, select this edge and correct it. Press 3 to go to edit faces. Select these faces, press E, S, OK, nice. Shift A, cylinder, change this value, close tab, press S, press S, Z, rotate it, OK, something like that. Hold down Alt and select these faces. Change pivot point to 3D cursor, Shift D, S, numpad del to focus to the object, and select these faces. Press E, right mouse button, press S. OK. Scroll out. Double A to the select all selection. A, numpad del to focus to the object. OK. Change pivot point to median point. Proportional editing. And put tick connected only. Smooth. Select these faces. Press G, X, select this, press G, X, left mouse button. Now select these faces, press I, make it smaller, left mouse button. Press E, left mouse button, turn off proportional editing, press S and make it a little smaller. OK, press 2 to go to edit edge. Turn off X-ray, select this edge, press G, X, then this, press G, Y. OK. Double A to the select all selections. Place your cursor over the cylinder and press L. Press G, X, left mouse button. OK. Press numpad 3, Shift D to duplicate this cylinder.
press E, again E, left mouse button, make it smaller, press numpad 3 and hovering the cursor over each of these parts, press L, shift D, Y, left mouse button, double A, select this cylinder and place it here. Shift S, Y, O, turn on X-ray, select this face and make it bigger. E, E, again, OK. Press 2 to go to edit edge, change viewing angle, select these edges and this. this well then this edges control e mark seam mm. press numpad 1 Press 3 to go to edit face, select these faces, X faces. Now go to modifier properties and select mirror. Ok, nice. Turn off X-ray, press tab to go to edit mode and correct. OK, not bad. Go to Material Properties. Oh, by the way, select this edges and this. Press Ctrl E, Mark Seam. OK. Now, go to Material Properties and create new slots. Select first slot. Place your cursor over this part and press L. Then this. Click new, change color, assign. OK. Double A to the select all selection. L, L, again L, L. Select second slot, click new, change color. Something like that. And click Assign. OK. Double A to select all selections. Press L, L, and this part. And this. Select third slot, click New, change color. OK. Click Assign. Double A to the select all selections, select this part and this. Fourth slot, change color, assign. OK, nice. Then select this part, new, change color, and increase metallic, specular, Press tab to go to object mode, shade smooth, change viewport shading. Now let's make the second bike. It will be of a different color, shift D. Select this material, click here to create a new different material, change color. If we don't click here, the material will be duplicated from the original object. OK. Then click here, change color. OK. Change color again. Oh, looks pretty good. 